In this video, we are going to learn how to use the list box widget from Tekinta. So the list box widget is this widget here, where you have a number of different options that you can choose and select. Um, and you can display them. Well, you can get the value that has been chosen. So to see how to do that, we'll have the code over here. So our code, we've done the usual, we've imported Tekinta, we've created our window. We have our label at the top up here explaining what the actual window is about. We have our button, which it calls the display function, which we haven't written up yet. Um, and that's been packed in. We then have our display label down the bottom, which is here. So you can actually display what is shown, um, what is being selected. And we have the main loop running. So actually, now let's look at the um, option or the list box and see what we can do. So first off, we need to create a list box object. So to do that, I've called it, I've got to name it, assign a name to it. So options LB is what I'm calling it. The list box is a, I'm calling list box function because we're making a list box object. It goes into the root window um, and we wanted to display four options here. Now you can say less, because I want to say display four options because I've got four options to put in. You can say less and scroll backwards and forwards, but this will show how many options are actually displayed. Um, so that's how we do that. Here, um, we now need to put the four options into there that we're going, or the four values that we're going to put into there that we can choose from. So how we do that is we say the list box option, uh, list, bo uh, list box object, we're going to insert in the first position, option one. And yes, you do actually have to have one, two, three, and four numbers down and list of positions. So first position, and then we in second position, we can say option two. In third position is option three, and fourth position is option four. And now that we've inserted, we've inserted all the options into our list box, um, we can now pack that object and put it into the root window. Um, now we have to do this display command, which is up here. So. The display command, or the display function. So this is again, the event handler is calling this, it's calling the function display. So what it needs to do is, we need to get the value of what is being selected. So for list boxes, this is a bit different to the other ones as well too. It's simply the function for the list box, which is, we call, we've called ours options LB. You then call the method curse selection. So what is this, what is the cursor currently selected? And it will return the value of the number here, one, two, three, and four. So you need to know what they actually mean. So if we display that value by um, changing the um, string value, uh, the text value of our display label, then you will see what has been selected. So let's see, F5, save, and you'll see again, it's displaying what has been on here. Now notice, a nice little bit of fun, despite the fact that this is number one here, because it's a computer, it's calling it zero. So that's a little trap to be aware of. Anyhow, that's how you make a list box.